Here we have a 24 hour filtration schedule for a variable speed pump. This is a Hayward variable speed super pump. We're going to get 82,920 gallons of filtered water after 24 hours for about $2.37. This, is, this system is currently running on one and a half inch plumbing, about 30 feet of resistance to flow. At maximum RPM, we're going to get about 10 and a half PSI. So this just helps you to kind of compare this to what your pool might be. Now this kind of represents a large swimming pool or a larger swimming pool, except it's not really a great situation because it's got small pipes. So it's kind of limited in the amount of flow that you can get. It's gonna be a little bit inefficient to run. But instead of just running a single speed pump around the clock, we've got a 24 hour variable speed schedule using 2,500 RPM for 14 hours, 3,200 RPM for six hours, and 3,450, which is of course max speed for four hours. After 24 hours, we're going to uh, have filtered just under 83,000 gallons of water, used 18.2 kilowatts of power, and that will cost about $2.37. Let's go ahead and I'm gonna show you these numbers now running on the system. Twenty five hundred RPM. Fifty and a half gallons per minute. And just about bang on five hundred watts top right corner. Three point three eight amps of current draw. Go ahead and jump up to speed two here. 3200 RPM. Sixty five and a half gallons per minute just over 1,000 watts, or 1,020 watts of power there, one kilowatt. And let's check out maximum speed. 10 and a half about 70 and a half gallons per minute 1.27 kilowatts of power or 1270 watts let's look at that power calculation really quick here and you can see how we arrive at 18.2 kilowatts of power. The nationwide average is 13 cents per kilowatt hour of power consumed times 18.2. That's how we got 237 per day, just over $70 per month. That's pretty good for what would be otherwise a very large swimming pool because we're getting, you know, over 80,000 gallons a day of filtered water, which is quite a lot. In this video, we're going to design and program a 24 hour variable speed pump schedule for this Hayward variable speed super pump. Now, in this case, this program is going to represent what would be a pretty large pool and something that needs an awful lot of filtration, but we want to dial back to whatever extent we can to save as much money as possible while still having a 24 hour schedule that achieves the maximum amount of filtered water. Let's go ahead and get started. So we'll proceed to the timers menu by pressing the menu button and the right button to enter the timers menu. Now timer one here, we want to make a change to, so we press the up button. It asks us if we want to change the name. You can change it if you want. So the first thing I'm going to do right now, you see 900 RPM. 
that would be what the existing schedule is for this pump. But we're going to change that because we need a lot of flow. So I'm going to dial this all the way up to 2500 RPM. There we go. That's quite a bit. And let's proceed. And I want this 2500 RPM to run from 5 a.m. until 11 a.m. There we go. And I want to set that for seven days a week. And there we go. Timer 1 has been set. Now timer 2, we want to make a change. So we press up again. And I want to change the RPMs here to the maximum, which is 3,450 RPM. Remember, this pool that we're talking about needs a lot of filtration, so I'm going to have a little bit of time here. In this case, from 11 a.m. until noon. Just one hour here, just to kind of break up that 2500 RPM that we were just doing. It was a pretty long period of time, so I added an hour there at maximum. So timer 3, I want to make a change. And what I want to do is have some more time at 2500 RPM. There we go. And we're going to go from noon till 8 PM. There we go. Seven days a week. And that's timer three. Timer four. I want to make a change, press right, and now we'll set this RPM to 3200. Hit next, and I want to set my time from 8 p.m. to 2 a.m. Seven days a week is what I'm looking for, and now that's timer four. Proceeding along, timer five, we press up to make a change. I don't want to change the name, so I proceed to the RPM selection, and in this case again, I want to dial it all the way up to the maximum, 3,450 RPM. There we go. Hit next, and in this case, we're just going to finish out the schedule with 2 a.m. until 5 a.m. And that's when the 24-hour schedule would start over again. So I have another timer set here. Let's go ahead and make that change. So as you can see from 3 a.m. to 6 a.m., I had something else set here already. So how do I deal with this? Well, I go from 3 a.m. to 3 a.m. And that should cancel this guy out here. Timer 6 is now off. Perfect. That's exactly what I wanted to see. And the rest of them are off as well. So we get to the end. We press the menu button. Very important. We press the plus button. And that saves the program we've just made. If you found this information helpful, please be sure to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And you can check out my website, swimmingpoolsteve.com.